Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. There is a lot to learn from ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict as how a country should be prepared for war-like situation and what is needed to win in those challenging times. Many of you would have heard that the sanction imposed by Western countries on Russia has even crippled its aviation sector, which means common people of Russia and commercial cargo planes will not be able to function. But the bigger question is how did this happen to a superpower like Russia? If you look into the Russian aviation industry, it's dominated by Western made planes including Boeing and Airbus accounting for 80% of Russian fleet. These planes will be soon grounded in the coming months after Western nations banned the export of aviation technology including spare parts to Russia following its invasion of Ukraine on February 24th. Russian airline will be forced to cannibalize their existing fleets for spare parts. Sukhoi Superjet 100 or SSJ 100, a short range plane seating up to 98 passengers is the first post-Soviet Russian designed commercial aircraft to go into mass production. Even the SSJ-100 could be grounded as most of its components are foreign made, including the engine. So by now, you would have got an idea as why it is so important to be art never in civil aviation and this can be further extended to military as well. So now let's try to understand the development made by India in the development of aircrafts for civil aviation. Indian aviation sector is ninth largest civil aviation market with a size of 16 billion dollars. However, India does not have any indigenously designed and developed light transport or civilian aircraft. The aircrafts currently available in the international market are 1970s technologies such as Donier 228, Embraer EMB 110. They have higher fuel consumption, lower speeds unpressurized cabins, high operating cost, and unsuitable for operations from hot, high-altitude airfields. After India began its light transport aircraft project, countries like Russia, China, USA, Indonesia, and Poland have also launched new programs for development of next-generation 19-seater aircraft. The development journey of the 19-seater light transport aircraft for India has been full of bumpy rides. NAL Saras, a 14-seater aircraft, was perhaps the first attempt to build a commercial carrier which received approval in 1999 by the government. But soon, Russia who was supposed to co-develop the aircraft backed out due to financial challenges. The project almost came to halt when it was hit by US-imposed sanctions after India's nuclear test in Pokhran. The Saras project was sanctioned on 24 September 1999 with initial schedule of its maiden flight by March 2001. The first Saras PT-1 completed its maiden flight at HL Airport in Bengaluru on 29th March 2004. The project was again abandoned in 2016 due to lack of funds. However, the current government has now revived the project after approving certain modifications to the cockpit and cabin formation. After the project was revived by the present government, NAL has incorporated design modifications and improvement on the Saras PT-1 model like two 1200 SHP engines, 104 inch diameter propeller assemblies to cater to the second segment climb gradient requirements, improved flight control and avionics, rudder area, main wheel and brakes to cater 7100 kg AUV, indigenously developed stall warning system, etc. The revised prototype of SARS PT-1 first flew on 24th January 2018 from HL airport for 40 minutes reaching 8500 feet and speed of 269 km per hour. The weight of revised or improved SARS PT-1 has also been reduced by 0.9 tons. Total of 20 test flights are planned for SARS PT-1N before freezing the production version. NAL is also engaged in the development of Saras MK2, a 19-seater version of the airliner. Government has given clearance and fund requirement to NAL for the development of same. 
NAL has completed the basic testing for pre-production standard and aims for certification in four years to produce first version following one and a half year. The noticeable difference between MK2 and MK1 version is that Saras MK2 features a twin turboprop high wing configuration instead of push propeller configuration used in the Saras MK1. Another prominent feature of Saras MK2 is going to be autopilot using AFCS or automatic flight control system and flight director systems. NAL is in process of procuring the raw material for the development of prototype of Saras MK2. Recently, its one to one model was also showcased in Wings of India 2022. Its first flight is planned in the year 2024 to 25 and production from 2026 to 2027 onwards. Saras MK2 will be ideal for commuter connectivity under Government of India's Uran scheme for a variety of applications like air taxi, aerial search, survey, executive transport, disaster management, border patrol, coast guard, ambulance and other community services. Its successful development will be one of the game changers in the history of civil aviation in India and possibly in the military as well. The 19-seater aircraft will be at least 20 to 25% lower in cost than the other aircraft in similar category. The unit cost of aircraft with more than 70% indigenous content will be around 40 to 45 crores against 60 to 70 crores for imported ones and has far more benefits than what the imported aircraft offers. At the same time, the upgraded Saras MK2 version has considerable drag to weight reduction with unique features like high cruise speed, lower fuel consumption, short landing and takeoff distance, low cabin noise operable from high and hot airfield with pressurized cabin operable from semi-prepared airfield and low acquisition and maintenance cost. Saras will be used as a test aircraft for the development of Saras MK2, a 19-seater transport aircraft. MK2 is going to be 7.5-ton aircraft and will have an endurance of 6.1 hours with a service ceiling of 30,270 feet. It will have maximum range of 775 kilometers with a max period of 19 passengers and 2,450 kilometers with 7 passengers. Its maximum cruise speed is going to be 500 km per hour. The takeoff distance for SARS MK2 is going to be 790 meters and landing distance is going to be 740 meters. NAL proposes to get SARS MK2 version certified initially for military and subsequently for civil version. HAL has been identified as the production agency for the military version of SARS, while the production of civil version will be given to the private industries. India needs 120 to 160 aircraft in this genre, both civil and military versions, in next 10 years. Presently, NAL has only one order from Indian Air Force for 15 aircraft. The NAL has been pitching for SARS MK2 for the government Uran scheme since it has the capacity to operate in ill equipped, semi prepared, and unpaved airstrips. The scheme was launched in October 2016, which is aimed to linking up areas which have no air connectivity. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.